automatic vectorization. In this example, we are going to use Wise Image Pro to perform automatic vectorization. Select Convert from the menu bar, and then choose Conversion Options. Select the first tab called Recognition. This is where we can set the options to convert points, lines, arcs and circles, polylines, outlines, text areas, hatches, and symbols. Because this is a contour map, we would want to have the polylines option checked. Wise Image will recognize different line types from the image, so these dotted lines on the map can also be converted. If we wanted to create an intersection or a break where the contour line crosses these grid lines, we could turn that feature on. We are going to leave that off for now, but we want to convert the text on the map using the OCR method. Under the Options tab, if the maximum width is not set up correctly, features might not show up. So if the option is set for zero, the lines will disappear. We would need to measure and pick the thickest line to allow these features to show up. If the drawing had dirt or speckles, or if we didn't want to include the text, we can increase the minimum length so that the text and other anomalies would be ignored. Under the Approximation Accuracy slider bar, we can increase or decrease the accuracy by sliding this to the high level. Under the Separate tab, we have the option to separate features onto different layers according to the thickness of the feature on the scanned image. In this example, it begins with the lightest line weight first, so this is Contours Intermediate. If we look at the Contours Index layer, we can adjust the slider and we can see that the lines are changing to a blue color now. So make the adjustments according to the image type and the line widths in order to pick up the thinner and thicker lines. We can choose which layer that we want the features to go on and change the color of those features. Once the varying raster thicknesses are selected, we are done with the setup. Prior to selecting OK, we may want to review our text settings so we can convert any text that looks like it is positioned horizontally. If the text was shown at a different angle, we could change the option to arbitrarily oriented. Once these settings are adjusted and they look good in the preview window, we can select the template button and save these settings. We could then load in the save template when working on similar contour maps. This saves time by not needing to adjust the settings every time we vectorize a map. Now we can zoom to the extents of our map. From the main menu, select Convert, and then choose Raster to Vector. Wise Image will convert this map based off the settings that we established. In a short amount of time, we will wind up with vectors on top of the raster image. Now we can see the text, and we can see the varying lines. By selecting the Show Hide Rasters button, we can turn off the image to see the results of the automatic vectorization. And at this point, we could QC the text and correct the lines. The vector data can now be exported to an AutoCAD DWG file or an Esri shapefile. To request a live demo or a trial version of the WISE Image software, please visit us on the web at creativemapsolutions.com.